Hello everyone, this is Captain Yasmin Malik and I am an OET trainer. I welcome you all on behalf of Seabird International College of Education. Today I am going to take a brief lecture on a part of speaking module that will be for OET nursing and I will be dealing with the warm up questions today but I just want to tell you the format of speaking module. The first one is warm up questions that will be for only 2 minutes and then it will be followed by two role plays, role play 1 and role play 2 that would be for almost 5 to 6 minutes and you will get 3 minutes for the preparation. So I will be discussing the frequently asked questions. The first one is introduction. I know this part is not being assessed by the examiner. This is just to make you comfortable with the accent of the examiner. But remember that it should be first impression is the last impression. So, introduction is the most important thing. And just keep one thing in your mind. If a person cannot introduce herself or himself perfectly, how can they handle the role plays properly? So, first one is introduction. In introduction, you just have to tell your name or you can just tell the place. It is, or you can just tell the little bit information regarding the family background. Otherwise, it's quite enough that you just have to tell the name as well as the place or you can say some experience as well as your educational credentials. And the second one is the work experience. They may ask you the questions regarding the work experience as well. So you should be uh, firm in that and you should be well prepared before the exam. Okay, so the third question is, why did you choose OET? I know, it's a very simple th thing that why you have chosen OET, this is in the market. I agree with that. But they may ask you, there are so many other exams in the market, like IELTS, PT, why you have not chosen that? The thing is, OET is specially designed for 12 professions and that too for the medical professions. So that's why you have opted for OET. And the fourth question they may ask you regarding if you get a chance to give advice to a new nurse, what it will be. I think from my side, she should be honest towards her profession, towards her patients, towards her superiors, as well as towards her colleagues, and most importantly, towards her subordinates. So, uh, these are the questions which may ask, and even they may ask you the changes in the nursing profession and why you have chosen nursing profession for the uh, for the life or you can say that uh, the things why how do you foresee nursing profession in future so these questions may be asked in your examination so you should be firm and you should be well prepared before the exam and one thing more don't be nervous and please do not use the artificial accent in the exam because they will definitely catch hold that accent and you will definitely penalize for that so i think this will definitely help you all for preparing your examination so all the best for the exam bye bye